move over GPT-40 and VO3. There's a new AI powerhouse in town and it's open source, multilingual and completely free. Introducing Bagel, China's latest unified multi-model AI model that's turning heads across the globe, trained to handle text, images, audio and video all in one model. Bagel is challenging the Western AI giants and it's doing it with zero paywalls. In this video, we'll break down what makes Bagel so unique, how it stacks up against the best from OpenAI and Google and why this could be a game changer for the future of open source AI. So without any further ado, let's dive in. So this is Bagel, the open source unified multi-model model, which was released on May 20th in 2025. Here you can see a ton of the developers which work on this. And here you guys can see that this code is actually available on GitHub. So you can easily also install Bagel on your computer by following this Windows 11 installation guide. So it's very easy to do so, just follow these steps and you guys can run Bagel on your computer as well. Now down below you guys can see what the Bagel open source AI model is actually capable of. For example, you guys can chat with it, then you guys can also generate images, videos, and even edit the images as well as you can see here on this example. So here you can see that we uploaded an image and then he asked the bagel, he squatted down and touched a dog's head, and this is exactly what Bagel actually provided here. Then down below, you guys can also transfer the styles. For example, you guys can see here Mona Lisa changed to 3D animated style. And this is basically Mona Lisa in 3D animated style. And now here, for example, you guys can use also use it for the navigation. So for example, after 0.40 seconds, you can move forward. And then you can click on generate and you guys can also change the composition as well because you can see here that bagel learns a wide range of knowledge and capabilities from video web and language data enabling it to perform reasoning model physical dynamics predicts future frames and more all through a unified multi-model interface with the compositional abilities Bagel can engage in multi-turn conversations seamlessly. And you guys can pretty much see that it also has a thinking model, which I think is a also a game changer. So right now, let's go and test this model out. And you guys can simply see here also the benchmark. Simple results, for example, you guys can see here understanding benchmarks. Now down below, you can see also for the generation, I think that the results are also pretty good. And that's basically it to Bagel. So right now, let's go up here to the first page or on the top of the page. Let's click on demo here and let me show you guys how to start using bagel.ai. I will also put the link for this tool in the video description down below, by the way, guys. And uh, while you are down there, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel because it really helps with the algorithm. Now here I will click on new conversation. Let's click on create here. And now we already have here two of the options. First, we have language output, image output, and then you can also enable here think mode. And you guys can also click on parameters here, such as the output ratio, text sampling, CFG sale. So one thing which I will do here, I will enter the instruction. So here what I will do, I will go here to the image option and I will upload the image to Bagel. So this is my image, which I got from Sora, by the way. And let's ask it to create an AI video prompt for this image. Let's click on enter and hopefully we will get a really cool response from this. And now here we have this massive output from Bagel. So here it says, okay, I need to create an AI video prompt based on this image. Let me start by analyzing the image carefully. The image shows a person with spiky hair, wearing a dark hoodie, intensely focused on typing on keyboard. The setting appears to be a dimly lit room with a computer monitor displaying code. And there's a window with blinds letting in some light. The atmosphere seems tense and focused, maybe indicating some working on critical tasks like hacking or coding. Now down below, you guys can see here, key elements. So, so this is exactly what we wanted. So basically this is the thinking part of the model, as you can see. And then here we have the AI video prompt, which we wanted. So here we have generate a scene of a person in a dimly lit room wearing a dark hoodie, intensely typing on a keyboard. The room features a computer monitor displaying lines of code, a window with blinds allowing soft lights to filter in and posters on the wall. The atmosphere is tense and focused, capturing a moment of high concentration and determination. So let's just copy this exact prompt bagel gave us so here what i will do i will just go to image output and uh, here what i will ask it to create an ai video from this 
prompt. So exactly just like this. And now let's click on the go here and hopefully we will get a video from Bagel here. So here you can see how the model actually thinks. So the user wants to enhance the scene by adding a dramatic and intense atmosphere. To achieve this, the lighting should be adjusted to create a more moody and focused ambience. The character's posture and hand movement should remain the same to preserve the sense of intensity. The posters and window details should stay consistent, but the overall tone should shift to emphasize tension and determination. You guys can see here how the model actually outputted the image here. However, I asked it to generate a video so apparently this this demo right here on this website is able only to change or style the images output the images and you guys can also talk to it by, by clicking this language output and then here for example I will ask it to create another image with the same prompt and I will also here add the prompt so I will go here create another image with the same prompt and I will put the brackets here and uh, also change the posture. So just like this, and hopefully right now we will get the image from Bagel. Now you guys can see also here on the bagels huggingface.co here down below the benchmarks. So for example, here we have the Quen and Juanus Pro. So it's comparing between all these three models. You guys can see here the MMA score, so it's higher than Quen. Then we also have higher benchmark for the MM bench. Then unfortunately lower score than the Quan in MMMU. Then we have the higher score in the MMVAT as well as Math Vista. Now down below you guys can also see text to image generation. So you guys can see that it has a higher score than the Flux1 developer. So I think it, this is a really cool for this open source model. Then down below, you guys can also see that for the image editing, you guys can see here that it's even better than the Gemini 2. And you guys can also see here that in the, the G edit bench, so in this one, it's also better than the Gemini and step 1x edit. So yeah, I think that this model is definitely worth using. So right now, let me show you the end result. And you guys can see here, that the bagel actually did quite a good job making another iteration of this original image. So this is the image I uploaded. Of course, right now it's a bit changed in terms of colors. And now here down below, you guys can see here that the bagel did a wonderful job changing the posture of the main character on the image. And uh, I think it looks okay. Now you guys can open this image in new tab and you guys can see here the resolution. And if you click right click and save as you guys can download it on your computer. So please let me know in the comment section what do you actually think about Bagel. As I mentioned, it's open source and it's free to use. You guys can just click on demo here and you will be redirected to this website. Or you guys can also install it on your computer by following this guide. So yeah, I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you of course haven't already, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, I will see you all around in the next one.